Hey, and welcome back, lovely people. Today, I'm going to turn all of us into Einstein. Well, maybe not Albert Einstein, more like Fred Einstein. There's a technique that scientists use, and also you can do, to make your thoughts brilliant. One of the most famous exponents of this amazing idea was Albert Einstein, and he used it on his way to work. As the young Albert traveled to work on the tram in the city of Bern on his way to the patent office, he did thought experiments. In his head, Albert Einstein did an experiment, and it's something we can all do. What he thought that day, as his tram slowly trundled through the city of Bern, he wondered, if the tram was moving at the speed of light, what would he see out of the window? And that kind of experiment, a thought experiment, is incredibly powerful. It would be nigh on impossible to make the trams in Bern go at the speed of light and have a camera to look out the window. But you don't need to do that. It's something that we can all do just by thinking. So sit down in a quiet room in the garden with a cup of tea and think big thoughts. Because a lot of scientists don't do that. A lot of science has become so compartmentalized, so specialized, that it can miss the big picture. And people like you, the general public, can ask the questions that the scientists miss. And remember, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Please share your thought experiments in the comments, and they will inspire others. They're not just questions that you're looking for answers for, that's different. A thought experiment is an experiment you can only do in your head. The practicality, the feasibility, the engineering required to actually do what you're thinking about would be maybe impossible at the current time, but it doesn't stop you thinking about it. And those big thoughts that you have can lead to breakthroughs. I've just seen this film with Dr. Julian Barber, and the thought experiments his team are doing are fascinating. They're looking at the possibility that at the Big Bang, two parallel universes expanded. Their work about a parallel universe and the expansion of time has led me to two things. One, to share with you a very bad joke, and two, to do my own thought experiment that I think you might find a little intriguing. So here's the bad joke. Time flies like an arrow. Fruit flies like a banana. That's a classic. But it raises a big question. And that question is the direction of time. And we are led to believe that everything progresses. One thing leads to another. But there's a bigger science theory behind time, and that is the second law of thermodynamics about entropy. Entropy, entropy, they've all got it, entropy. Sorry, I, I had to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but actually, that bad quote is actually quite apt at explaining what entropy is. Entropy is when you strike a match and it burns. Can you imagine the match ever going back? No, it seems to have a single direction from being a match to turning into flame. And in the same way, we grow, age, die, and the universe is expanding and turning into dust. But is it really? And I think it's not. So when I say it's not, it's just my thought experiment, and let me explain and see what you think about this theory. 
So the big science theory is that the universe is expanding and it's just going to move away into nothingness and we'll all die, all energy will dissipate and there'll be nothing left. But that's actually not what's happening. In fact, we started in chaos and now as we are expanding and entropy is happening, we're forming structures. Bigger things out there in the universe, possibly a bigger structure is forming that we don't know about. It's not just all flying off and decaying into nothingness. It's possibly building something that we don't know yet what it is. So I can't tell you if it's true or not. I'd like your opinions, but it's only a thought experiment. So thank you for listening today to the ramblings of Professor Simon. But that's what I want you to do. I want you to think about things and do experiments in your head that you can't do in the laboratory. And please share them below because we'd all be interested to know what you're thinking about. So thank you for supporting this channel just by watching the videos. And if you can, can you share them with your friends? That certainly would help because the truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.